Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rage and we are back today with an exciting preview here for the later half of 2024 as well as potential timelines of what to expect now that we've seen uh, this massive, massive Orcus tech team announcement yesterday. Uh, we have more than enough information to use data analytics to essentially uh, predict now, you know, how is the rest of the year going to look and what is coming up next. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. But again, uh, keep in mind, a lot of these dates are going to be subject to change potentially based on, you know, how Marvel Strike Force and Scopely does set up their events and so forth. But like I said, we have a lot of information based on their experience as well as how things have been executed. Um, they give us some pretty strong confidence in these numbers. So do let me know what you guys think, but hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully this is able to give you a sense of what to expect. And especially for those of you that, you know, do take vacation uh, away from the game and so forth, maybe this can help you plan around some of those key events and characters that are upcoming, especially given how dynamic the game is. So without further ado, let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. First and foremost, I want to give you a bit of context here. Um, we've used some of the most recent characters in terms of their offers and free-to-play events, so it gives us a sense of you know what is kind of the baseline, but more importantly, what's happening as of late. So if you recall with Alpha Flight Team, North Star, Guardian, and Sasquatch, these were their respective offers and then their following free-to-play events. Uh, on average, they were actually, um, you know, pretty uh, pretty reasonable in my honest opinion. You know, it's their events came basically two weeks later on or, or shorter, uh, which was, in my eyes, very reasonable because a lot of folks can get access to these characters uh, in a pretty good manner. Now, having said that, you can see here, um, we then got the addition here of two members being part of Illuminati, Sherry Black Panther, as well, well as Hank Pym. And this is, this is the one I like to stop at because Hank Pym, um, it started deviating a lot from a lot of these uh, past events that have been run. As you can see, um, you know, he's close to three weeks plus, almost a month um, since his initial offer, as well as the free-to-play event coming into play here. And now we are unfortunately seeing a very similar trend uh, to Gladiator. Uh, we don't actually know when his event's going to be. We don't know if he's going to have an event. Um, I suspect that by next week we will be able to get a you know, a sense of the, the data mines, um, and that way we can preview what's going to be coming up here. But yeah, uh, it's it's very interesting for sure. Um, but having said that, I do want to point out that obviously at the end of the day here, um, you can see that we can use this information as best as we can. So um, if I now pivot over here and take a look at now the upcoming uh, Orcus Tech team that was announced actually, oh, oh sorry, uh, the Annihilators team that was announced here, you can see um, this was the blog post that originally came. July 24th was Annihilators, uh, giving us the introduction. And then shortly afterwards, we saw the additional um, uh, characters for Gladiator Gore and obviously Thanos Endgame coming um, this coming Friday. Again, the dates to the right are highlighted in yellow because we don't actually know when their events are coming into the game. Um, we're using actually a pretty conservative mark here, being close to that hang pin mark, and we know Gladiator didn't come this week and he's not coming next week. So then we can pretty much hypothesize that most of these characters coming into the game are going to be taking a month. So, you know, Gladiator came on August 6th, so hopefully by the start of September, we're going to see his additional event actually coming into play here for the community following uh with gore as well as dinos endgame assuming that they're not included in some way shape or form uh in the way of a monthly event now i also want to point out guys again uh, we're making the assumption that these free-to-play events are delayed uh, to at least three weeks but that doesn't stop the game and developers from introducing characters into the game because obviously they need to make money and every week it does seem like there's something going on in terms of an event or some sort of additional um you know new tune or team coming into the game for, that provides an opportunity for them to make revenue so keep that in mind um everything else fixed they're still constantly having updates it's the players that are needing to keep up resources and and you know patiently waiting for when these characters are actually coming in the way of accessibility now that I've given you the context, um, this is some really good information and assumptions that we can now essentially map out the rest of uh, the coming quarters here, especially with the new teams that were announced. So like I said earlier, Orcus Tech Team was announced yesterday uh, and using the information we have on hand now, we can actually hypothesize that, um, you know, it looks like Sentinel, Nimrod and Omega are going to be introduced in the majority of September. So you can see that first week when we potentially have the Gladiator event uh, where we can start farming him, well, they're also going to be adding Sentinel potentially as the first character out of the Orcus Tech team. How did I get this order? Well, usually from the blog posts, if you guys have seen it, 
they usually list the characters in the way of the release. So Sentinel was talked about first, then it was Nimrod, and then finally Omega Sentinel. Again, those little details that we don't notice until we're actually analyzing, right? But having said that, I use the exact same assumptions as well for the free to play event possibility, which is almost a month. So if Sentinel is getting introduced at the start of September, well, guess what? He's probably gonna be added into the game in the way of a free to play event close to the end of the month or maybe definitely in the second half of the month. Then starting October and as well as mid October is when we would uh, expect the rest of this uh, of this Orcus Tech team to be fully live for us. And by that point, uh, most of us will likely be engaged in the higher levels of the Orcus raid. So uh, sooner, hopefully sooner rather than later, obviously. But like I said, I'm doing a very conservative analysis here so that way you guys can uh, understand the timelines and expectations. Now that we have all this information, we can actually use a pretty good baseline here of when the Night Stalkers blog post is coming. It's likely going to be um, either early September or in the second half of September because of um, that's typically how they like to build up hype, right? Usually one of these team posts are made once per month and typically it's either in the middle of the month or in the later half of the month as, as we've seen with both Annihilators on July 24th and as well as Orcus uh, on yesterday's date. So now that we have this information, we can actually build up a pretty good expectation here of when um, not just the, the new Night Stalkers team, you know, in this case, I don't know if it's going to be Karen Page or Man Thing first. Uh, we also know Moon Knight is going to be getting a rework and potentially even Elsa because her data mines are actually updated. But this gives us some pretty good, uh, you know, understanding and expectations here that near the end of September, early October is when both these new characters are going to get introduced, which follows the Night Stalkers blog post. And then finally, uh, we actually have the free to play event likely a month later, similar guidelines that we've seen if they're continuing to keep this up going forward. And that would actually be a perfect timing here because um, usually when you introduce, you know, a couple of these members of the team, the third and final member in this case is going to be a legendary and it's likely going to be Blade. So the timing works out almost perfectly, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see right here, him coming near either the mid or end of the month for the legendary event. Um, and then obviously rounding out uh, this rest of the night. Stalkers team, assuming that this legendary character is part of the mix for, for Night Stalkers. And also keep in mind, if you guys haven't checked out the video earlier this week, Strike Fox also made a post that Siege Battle World is actually coming likely in October as well. So tons and tons of activities happening in October. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in comments below. Hopefully you guys are able to get a sense of what's happening. But these are the expectations now based on the statistics and analytics that we've done. And uh, I feel pretty good about these numbers. More so now, it's just fine tuning and confirming the dates. But as usual, if anything changes, I'll make a recap video for you guys. But hopefully you guys has got some insight on this on what to expect but pretty exciting times and now we can actually use this information um, to prepare for example you know i'm actually going to be gone on vacation in the middle of september so now i'll know that's likely going to be a couple of these characters i need to focus in on and and obviously they're free to play events when they do happen so let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you agree or disagree hopefully this was helpful thank you for your time as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one